750 feet, it's going to drop off to about 900 feet. chicken rig and Tim is going to start trying slow jig. Alright so we're getting ready to start wreck fishing and the most important part of wreck fishing is being on top of the wreck. Right now in Virginia the water is cold which means that if you're not on the wreck you're going to get instantly eaten by a dogfish. So. Alright you go ahead and drop it.
big and big blue fish down there. bass and it is four o'clock in the afternoon and we are just got back into the dock here a little bit ago just a few minutes ago and um we're getting ready to to clean up our clean up our boat and clean up our catch and uh here's our catch right here we caught a really nice mess of sea bass a couple of bluefish some rose fish, just a nice, nice mess of fish. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys really quick how to clean a rose fish. You have to be careful with these things because they got spines all over them and they can stick you. Down right in here, real close. All right, so you're gonna run a knife right on his back. Spikes right here. We're gonna stick the knife under those.
to it. Skinless, boneless, beautiful fly. Hi guys, I'm Jake from the Fishing with the Matador channel. The other day we went fishing for sea bass and rosefish, and uh, tonight we're going to eat, I'm going to cook some, uh, some fried sea bass tacos. Uh, we're also gonna have some Spanish rice, and we're going to make a lime crema sauce to put on there. To make this sauce, we need a half a cup of sour cream, a third of a cup of mayonnaise, we need a teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of lime juice, and then sriracha to taste. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of that in there. And I'm just going to put this up. spicy sauce to go on your tacos. We're just gonna make a side of Spanish rice. Just follow the instructions on that. We're gonna go through cooking Spanish rice and all the instructions are just put on the box. Our rice, is, our rice is cooking right now, so we're gonna go ahead and start getting our fixings ready for our tacos. This is an important part of authentic tacos. Cotilla cheese. Yeah. This is kind of like feta, um, except for it, it's not as strong tasting. Um, it crumbles very similar. Um, but uh, this is the kind of cheese that we're going to use in our tacos. And we're not going to cut it, we're just going to break off little crumbles. And there you have it. That is. Cotija cheese. Tomatoes are sliced up real nice. Nice fresh cilantro. It's just it smells so good. Sliced avocado. It doesn't smell as good as the cilantro. Most fish taco recipes call for cabbage. And I just use lettuce, I don't mind. You don't have cabbage laying around. Lettuce will work just fine. This is iceberg lettuce. And kind of do want to take the outside portion off. And then that leaves us with the heart of it. Lettuce. Two small sliced onions. One lime cut into slices. Here is our sea bass. Sea bass are a delicious white, white meat. Very good to eat. We're gonna cut our sea bass fillets down into little strips because those are how we want to put those into our tacos. We want these strips to be about as big around as your, as your finger. So this is the sea bass, cut it into strips. This is what we're going to make our taco. We're gonna start getting our oil. We're just gonna use vegetable oil. We're gonna pan fry these sea bass. We're gonna put a very light batter on them. This is the house entree fish fry mix. Get that stuff all over. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start pan frying our sea bass. Another advantage to cutting this into small pieces like this is that it cooks much more quickly. All we really want to do is just get these, get the breading on the outside of it to where it turns that golden cooked color. And these are done. Rice is finished, we're gonna move that off of the burner. 
cooking so we're gonna take it also to eat. squirt it a little bit of lime juice on there and now we're going to start making tacos cheese bass fried black sea bass tacos and I'm sure these are going to be a very good thing. Cheers on them. Squeeze a little lime on them. Let's see what we're working with here. guys that's it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the fishing with the matador channel and hit that like button give me a thumbs up